from any other country that heard anything like it before. So. We try to be the antidote to sort of modern music, which we think is pretty facile. It's pretty, it's basically shit, really. It's just people just doing the same shit over and over again. Yeah. Our aim is to be a bit more innovative, um, just trying different shit. Um, just we're we're an extreme band in the sense that we're trying new things all the time. We're not maybe not the fastest or the heaviest band, but our idea is always to challenge the audience. So yeah, you guys played Sydney last night. How's the tour been going so far? Yeah, a lot of fun. Like the crowds have been really good. Um, shows like heaps of people turning up. Shows have been a lot of fun. Um, partying a bit too much afterwards, um, losing voices. Um, even if it's just a small crowd like tonight, like the people there really get into it and really have a great time, and that's what makes it for us. You know, 400 people standing there doing nothing, and that's just going to be a shit show. It's 400 people have, what, 80 people just losing their minds, and that's awesome. That's why we do it. You probably noticed that uh, with on the on the tour posters, you know, it was Brisbane, Melbourne, you know, two Sydney shows, and then Wagga Wagga, and it was kind of like... Yeah, that was a bit random. We weren't yeah. sort of sure why, but um, there seemed to be a lot of ki kids that are into metal here, so... I'm sure there was a reason that the date was put here. It's not just a random thing. Yeah. But, I mean, it's good playing here, that a place that um, wouldn't normally get international bands and, full, like, you know, a big tour like this. Like, they would have to go to Sydney or Melbourne or whatever's closest, even Canberra. But, like, Canberra's not even on the tour. So, That's like, we've got Canberra kids that came up just for it tonight. So, yeah, it's good. It's good to play somewhere different. It's uh, essentially a sort of big mixture of different types of heavy metal. Um, you know, we like to mix up some death metal with some black metal. I leave that kind of judgment to the critics, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's, for us it's just like, you know, mix it all up, keep things interesting. Ready for this one. Is Northern Ireland ready to become a band of devil-worshipping rockers? At one point, I think when you went to Ireland, was it, and um, the church was trying to get you banned from playing, and um, you, they got you on TV, and... Oh, that was a farce, you know, absolute farce. We got stitched up by the BBC again. Uh, whenever we have dealings with the British Broadcasting Company, we get stitched up. The researcher called me, and she was at great pains to uh, explain that they were actually wishing to conduct a very credible debate. Do you care about the Christian community here who might be offended by what you're about to do? Well, we certainly don't seek to offend. We never have sought to offend. We wouldn't want the Christian people of Ireland to come and watch us because they wouldn't have a good time. It was exactly the opposite of what they said it was going to be. It was just some religious zealots, some maniacs. No, um, Northern Ireland doesn't need this. Nobody needs this. People might say it's, it's freedom of speech, but there has to be bounds on freedom of speech. This is truly offensive. I, I just want to tell you that one morning when you wake up and you find yourself lying in your own vomit, okay, I want you to remember me and invite the Lord vomit. Jesus Christ I, into I've your heart. So have you done he that? will cleanse you. It was just like tabloid stuff, you know, which let's be frank, in this day and age when you've got wars going on and there's a lot more horrific stuff going on than like four idiot, five idiots like us, you know, making some fucking death metal, you know. From down under. No one ever wins. No one finally loses except the dead. Under the sun, they rot together with absolute biological equality. <laughs> Well, it's industrial death metal, so I mean, it's at the uh, higher end of the extreme music. 
course with the speeds. We try to add in a lot of electronic elements to make the impact of the sound a lot more. The electronics really add to the brutality, so you know, always bring in that just to help. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to be headlining uh, Festival of the Dead? Sure, it's great. It's been five years since we played here, obviously. Um, we've done a lot, I mean, we've done hundreds of shows overseas, so it's kind of easy. We don't really play here very much, but it's great, you know, we've played two shows through radio and it's been pretty fantastic to see everyone come out again. <laughs> When you first released to Simulate, uh, you guys used to wear masks. I mean, you don't do that anymore. What's the reason? The original reason for the mask was to make sure people focused on the music instead of the personalities, if you want, from the band. And, and unfortunately, people were very interested in you know who's behind the mask and everything else. So we wanted to just get rid of that. And, and, now, and now it's good because people are pretty much focusing on the music. But this is the first tour we've done in Australia without the mask. Once Festival of the Dead wraps up, uh, what's the plan for the next few months, year? Summer, mate. It's going to take summer off and uh, sunbake. Any last words you want to say to no, the camera? I appreciate, you know, I appreciate all the exposure and uh, thanks everyone for coming out. Fuck yeah! It's been a pleasure to finally play a few motherfuckers this evening, so thanks for coming out.